the lake was closed due to flooding some people are just ignoring it I am like looking around <laughs> because I don't know you know if I see a bear I never seen it and if I see a bear I don't know what I should do morning from British Columbia today is another beautiful day here near Vesla today we are going for a hike to the Garibaldi lake which is kind of a popular hike here it's going to be a long hike it's 18 kilometer round trip. the parking here is free uh, we are actually at Rubble Creek trailhead where you can start your hike you just have to book online a free pass for the parking and they let you in there's they let you in uh, before the parking there's someone checking for the passes so make sure you booked it online we're in british columbia and there is a chance to see a bear which actually i like to see a bear but not get attacked by a bear and it's so unlikely because usually bear don't get don't attack you but it's always good to be safe than sorry that's why yesterday we went and bought a bear spray actually it's, it's a weapon in many countries it, uh, having a bear spray is illegal but in Canada in British Columbia you can have it actually I'm the one carrying the bear spray so it's up to me to take on a bear if we meet one that is quite angry or maybe it's gonna follow us because of our food I don't know anyway here you cannot even bring dogs as well because they ruin part of the vegetation so they don't want them here and also because of the wild animals so but, uh, dogs are not allowed and not even bicycle and you cannot do campfires uh, ever I think but especially in this season where wildfires are all the rage so let's continue Here, when we got here they told us that Garibaldi lake is closed because of flooding due to flooding but we're still going up there see if we can still reach it the first few kilometers of the hike it's pretty steep and uh, literally we don't have any kind of view we are surrounded by tall trees uh, the path is beautiful but yeah it just we can see only trees i think here we need bug spray more than bear spray oh, there are so many bugs I feel so gross so, so sweaty I'm so sweaty oh. We're only halfway through Some people uh, put some little bells attached to their backpacks to make noise while they walk. That's just to let the bears know that they're around so that they don't get spooked. Because if you, they don't see you coming, they can get spooked. So it's better to make some noise while you're walking around. There is a little viewpoint and let's go and check it out.
basically there is nothing here to see. <laughs> Let's continue. Actually, when we arrived before the car park, when you have to show your pass for the parking, they actually told us that the lake was closed due to flooding. And actually there is a sign on the path that says it, the campground as well is closed due to flooding, but some people are just ignoring it. So yeah, we saw people going through, so we're just trying to follow. I'm sure it will be okay, but let's see how it goes. Okay, this should be a viewpoint. Oh, finally, the scenery changed. Oh, I can see the lake. Apparently we are going to see a couple of lakes and this is the first one so pretty oh my god that's so beautiful like we have the view of the other mountains and glacier and the lake oh it's so crazy I'm actually so thirsty and I finished my water let's get some water Some fish. Here, the chance of seeing a bear is high because the trail is kind of quieter, and we are next to the river. Usually, bear come to the river to fish or drink water. To be honest, here is so quiet and I am like looking around <laughs> because I don't know, you know, if I see a bear I never seen it and if I see a bear I don't know what I should do and <laughs> do I trust Bruno with the spray? I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of like a hard question to answer. We only saw a couple of hikers here apart from us and they had the spray in their hand ready oh that actually wasn't comforting for me at all and they were local uh, so we ended up ignoring all of the signs and we got here at Garibaldi Lake, it's suppo you're supposed to be able to walk across but as you can see it's currently flooded mostly because of the weather conditions it's really hot so this is a glacier lake so the water level right now is very high so we cannot really walk across usually you are you're able to walk all the way across to get the view of the whole lake but today we won't be able to do that so it's such a shame we came here all the way to to, uh, to see the lake but we can but it's still the view is really nice and I think it's, it was worth a uh, climb and but it's such a shame that all the path is underwater and actually you can you can usually come here and go for a swim but now uh, I don't think that's the case for us so we try just to enjoy the view of the glacier and the mountains and the lake Now 
now we are going back and it's raining and we are just sheltering <laughs> under the tree we haven't seen a bear I don't know I should call it a lucky day or unlucky <laughs> I kind of want to see a bear and I don't know, I kind of don't want to face it. Maybe my ideal situation is like to see a bear but very like in a far distance. I can see the bear and film and take photos but not close on the trail. This is my ideal situation. But still we have some kilometers to go down. Yeah, let's go. We officially finished the 18 kilometer hike, but based on my Fitbit watch, we walked more than 20 kilometers and it took around like six hours. We didn't take a long break, but we had short breaks to take a video or take photos. Uh, but if you want to do it, you can literally do it in a day if you are going up fast and coming back. But there are so many other trails up there you can continue. But if you want to do that, you have to go to one of the camps up there and stay overnight and then continue. It's not uh, possible to do it in a day. It's going to be really tiring and a very long day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned because tomorrow we have other plan in British Columbia. Same as always. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.